In this video, I will explain how to find the turning point of a quadratic function after having completed the square. In a previous video, I explained how to complete the square. You can find this video by clicking at the top right of the screen. Once you complete the square, so you put a function in this form, then to find the x coordinate of the turning point, you just take the bracket and you set it equal to zero. So in this case, x plus p is equal to zero, which implies that x equals to minus p, and that's the x coordinate of the turning point. Now to find the y coordinate, you just ignore the bracket because it has a value of zero now. So if this becomes zero, all you are left with is q, hence the y coordinate is equal to q. So the overall coordinate is equal to minus p q. Whether this is a maximum or a minimum, you can decide based on the sign of a, which is the coefficient of the bracket, it's this one, if A is positive, then we have a minimum point, and if A is negative, then we have a maximum point. For example, consider the following three quadratic graphs. For the first one, the coefficient of the bracket is positive, hence I will have a minimum point. To find this minimum point, take the x value that makes the bracket equal to zero, and in this case, the value is 3. Once the bracket is 0, this disappears and you are left with a 4. So the turning point has coordinates 3, 4. For the second example, the coefficient of the bracket is minus 6. That's a negative value, which means that I have a maximum value. Setting the bracket equal to 0 will give me an x value of minus 7. Once this gets a value of 0, you'll be left with a 5, which is the y coordinate of my turning point. And finally, for the third example, I have a positive coefficient of my bracket, which means that I will have a minimum turning point. Putting the bracket equal to 0 will yield an x value of minus 9, and once x takes this value, the bracket becomes 0, you'll be left with minus 10, this is the y coordinate of my turning point. Thanks for watching. If you found this video useful, please like it and subscribe to our channel. You can also leave a comment below to tell us what you think.